Happy Random Ass Friday. Still playing with OG Xboxes. This is something that I should have covered in a video prior to the last one that I did. The Surbio soft mod installation. Um, this is how you can do an FTP transfer to any OG Xbox that's still running the retail software. Um, extra super neato now because of the endgame exploit. So, take your, and you could do this with a, U, with a thumb drive and the USB adapter cable. I, I just prefer using the, the old memory units. It's more nostalgic. Okay, so this is the same installation software that I've used in a previous video to install the Rocky 5 version 1.21 soft mod. Uh, super neato thing about this, now if I were to turn the Xbox off right now, this wouldn't have affected anything. It'll go back to the retail state. So, if you push Y... more stuff so here's your IP address um, by default there's an FTP server that comes up and runs so that is all you need to do to activate an FTP server on a retail OG Xbox. Um, and it came in handy when I couldn't get the Surbios soft mod to run. I initiated this and I poked around on the E drive and deleted all the old game saves that way. Um, and I've rambled on in the past. It, personally, it's fat, it's saves time in advance just to take a machine of unknown past hacking and just take it back to the retail state with the Rocky 5 restore utility. But depending on how you're feeling and whatever, it, it is fun to poke around. This is an option too. It lets you access the internal file system. I'm not going to get into how to do the FTP, whether you want to use WinSCP, FileZilla, command line, there's all there's many options. I prefer FileZilla. I, I don't know if it's any better. I've noticed a lot of the people online are using WinSCP. Ford versus Chevy. Do whatever you want. But this is a nice tip. And now with Endgame, why not just carry this around with you? And if you ever encounter someone who needs help in the wild, you can certainly do this to at least get in there and poke around their file system. But as far as these tutorials where people are trying to copy these ginormous game saves, that's not going to work reliably for a lot of people. Um, thumb drives are notoriously unreliable compared to the memory units. Of course, the memory units for Microsoft were limited to 8 megabytes. I have one aftermarket one that's 16 megabytes that's been reliable. But you're going to have some reliability issues, and it's pretty sporadic, random, d depending on the tolerances of your USB adapter cable, your thumb drive, your Xbox, etc. It doesn't hurt to try, but assuming that you have the networking set up, and you can figure out FTP, which is pretty stupid easy with the client software now, this gives you another option. So I thought I would just show that, and don't forget that you have that tool available if you need it, and happy Friday.